Hey, it's Clay, and I wanted to do a quick uh, update on if you're using Audacity and you want to uh, use a v any VST, this is the process for getting that VST into Audacity into a usable form. So first thing you need to do is download your VST file. Uh, the one I am using for this example is an Ambience Reverb. It's for free. Uh, you can check it out. I've been using it lately and really liking it. But um, So once you've downloaded it, it will be in your downloads folder here. You're going to need some sort of unzipping program. Uh, 7-Zip is a common one. WinRAR. Um, any of those will work. I'm using this one called Express File Zip. Uh, pretty much anything will work. But once you uh, are able to use your zip utility, uh, you can just double click on it. Or if you're using 7-Zip, you would go to Open Archive. That would look like this. Uh, this is what it looks like here. So with this, um, you're looking for this .dll file. This is your plugin. And this is the file that you need to actually place in certain specific locations. Uh, so what we want you to do is right click on it and hit, uh, well first of all let's just go ahead and drag it to our desktop. And then you can do this a number of different ways. I like to right click and hit copy. If you want you can drag and drop but we're going to do it multiple times. Um, so copy and pasting will work as well. Then go to your computer and then you want to find the location where your Audacity is installed. I have two hard drives, so that could be a little confusing. For most of you, if you have one hard drive, it's going to be your C drive. Go ahead and double click there. And then you're going to want to go to your program files. And then you're going to look for VST plugins. And then just go ahead and click paste. Now mine's already in here, so I'm just going to hit cancel, but then yours would pop in right there nicely. Now, just to cover your bases, if you see other program files, like I'm running 64-bit Windows, uh, so I have two program files areas, just go ahead and put it in both. So this one will also have a VST plugins you're also going to want to paste. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it for my other hard drive as well. So I'm doing it a total of four times pasting it into here. Looking the same way, looking for VST plugins and pasting. And if you make sure you get it in all of those locations, you're just going to be safe to cover your bases. Um, but the primary one you need to worry about is going to be on your C drive and your regular program files, VST plugins. For most of you, that should be all that you need. Now go ahead and open up Audacity. And this time I want you to go to your preferences. So go ahead and hit edit and then preferences or you can hit control P if you're really legit. Then uh, over here you're going to scroll down to effects. Now right here under VST effects, you want to click this box, rescan VST effects next time Audacity is started. Hit OK. And then close out. And then open it up again. And then this time, if you click in the effects, you should see this is the one that I just installed, Magnus Smart Electronics Ambience. You should see your VST effect displayed somewhere underneath this horizontal line in this general area. And this should work for just about any VST that has a .dll uh, plugin file. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, let me know if you're having any problems getting these things to work with Audacity. But uh, using these VST files can be really cool. You can get a lot of sweet programs, uh, get a lot of cool effects going. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Bye.